beautiful people. Today I'd like to talk to you about front loading. So, what is it? How can we use it? Or how can it help us in our lives? And how can we accomplish it? So, front loading. To load things into the front. Basically what front loading means is that if you have tasks that you have to do in the future, you know, there's these those pushing the stone up the hill tasks, the things that you know that you're going to have to do every day, you know, the laundry, the dishes, uh, homework, work, work, grocery shopping, whatever you need to do. Front loading is essentially when you do these things ahead of the time that you need to do them, which means that you have this gap where once you've done all these things, you have free time. Not only is your time free, but it's really free because since you have everything done that you might need to do in the near future, you don't even have to stress during your free time. So you can actually appreciate it and enjoy it. You can go to sleep not worried about what you might have to do in the morning. So, uh, on the topic of sleep, what do I do to front load in the evening before I go to sleep? Well, what I do is this. I started doing this about a year ago. So what I do, I found out that drinking water first thing in the morning helps you to start your system. Eating a bit of food, especially something easy to digest like fruit, also helps you start your system, which gives you an energy boost, which will carry you through with positivity and energy right through the day. So what else did I learn about the morning that I can do in the evening to make my day go easier? Well, in the morning, your brain uses about four times more energy, especially for multitasking type activities and anything that you have to think about. So, what do I do? I make my morning as easy as possible. In the morning, I have a fresh set of clothes that I set out for myself the night before. I have a fresh glass of water, fresh fruit. These things help my day.
pour a glass of water, and then enjoy them. Your future self, who might not even think to do this in the morning when they're all tired out, is going to enjoy that little gift from you in the morning, and the other little gifts that you've left for yourself as well. So, in order for us to do this for our future self, we're giving more than we're getting at the time. So, what's the reward for that? Well, the reward is feeling great about yourself. The reward is knowing that your future self, your future present self, will wake up the next morning feeling relaxed, having lots of free time to go about your morning gently, casually, relaxedly, and really just start to unwind for the morning so that you can take on your day with a calm, reserved attitude. And really the benefits of front-loading are vast. From relaxation to more time, you know, it takes more energy and time in the morning to do all these things. And it's not just in the morning that we can front-load. We can front-load, like I said, homework, work, work. We can front-load Christmas cards, birthday cards, birthday gifts, etc. Um, we can front-load, you know, uh, tasks that we're putting off right now. I would benefit from front-loading uh, going and cleaning the gears on my bike because I've been putting that off. And, you know, I've been feeling, and, you know, you, you start to forget about it after a while because you, know, you can't be thinking about the things that are dragging you down all the time every day. So it slips into our unconscious. But I've been thinking about how my gears are messed up and dirty for a while now. And when I bike around, they're clicking and skipping, and my bike just isn't in good repair. And this is a source of draining for my energy every single day. So, why don't I do something about it? Well, there's all these different aspects of our lives weighing us down. These things that we need to do. The things that are weighing us down that could be raising us up if only we took care of them. So, do we just go and start on the hardest problem at the beginning? No, we do what we can. So, maybe what you can do today is setting out a glass of water. Maybe it's setting out a glass of clothes, a piece of fruit, making your lunch for the next day. But whatever you can handle right now, that's what you should do. I'm not going to ask you to take on challenges you're not ready for. And it wouldn't be help for you, helpful for you to try. So, ask yourself, what can you take on right now? And just do it. Take a minute of your time and just do something easy that will help you tomorrow, help you this evening, help you next week, help you next year, whatever. And you're going to start to see the results. Maybe you won't feel it so much from that one thing, but you will feel it. And the more things that you take on, that you front load, the better you're going to feel because you're going to look around you and you're going to notice these things that you've done for yourself and you're going to be grateful that you've cared for yourself and that you've done things that have made your life easier. So, front loading's great. And as a little side note, at the restaurant I was just in, I had the pleasure of dining next to maybe a bit of a richer family. And because I've been in the mindset, and so many other people are in the mindset, that rich people don't care and that, you know, they're, they're stuck up or they are pretentious or whatever. This wasn't my experience at all today. My experience was that you know they were they were talking about things like the neighbors that were the neighbors just got a new house in the hill where you could see out for miles and they weren't jealous of their neighbor. They were simply appreciative. Especially since they have a relationship with their neighbor where their neighbor's willing to invite them over. And their neighbor doesn't know a lot of people so they get a mutually beneficial sort of friendship. And they're also talking about uh, cruise ships and uh, plastic straws being able to face because of the harm that it's doing to the environment. And, you know, they actually seem to care. Um, they were quite worried that uh, the cruise ships might be offloading their garbage into the sea. And they actually looked it up. And apparently the cruise ships have a system of doing things where they grind up their food waste and they put it into the ocean. And they take their garbage and recycling and they compact it or incinerate what they can. And they offload it at secure sites. Now, they 
one of the people in his family didn't necessarily believe that, and another one of them sort of voiced some discontent at the way humans as a species kind of destroy what's around them. And the other one said, oh, I just don't care anymore. I just hope the world lasts for another 20 years. And, you know, I, I can see how you would feel that way. But, you know, we were in a beautiful restaurant. They really enjoyed their meal. I could tell that they care about the environment, you know? And I think deciding that you don't care, and that you just want to live happily, isn't necessarily all a bad thing. You know, it's bad that, you know, if you take into your life the attitude that, oh, I'm just going to litter, I'm just going to, you know, um, be unsustainable because the world's already messed up and I don't care, that's maybe not the greatest. But you know, we're doing it for our own self-security, for because we care so much that it hurts us so much that we can't care. So to say that you don't care is really to care and be hurt by how the world's going. But I doubt they'll ever see this video, but if I can say one thing on that topic, it's that if we all took responsibility, if we did all the right things to secure the integrity of the environment, be environmentally friendly, sustainable, and replenishable, then we would have a world that would be here 20 years from now, 30 years, 50 years, 100, 1,000, a million years from now. And since they really enjoyed their meal, I'm hoping that Taste of India will be around in 20 years' time so that we can all come back and enjoy a meal together once again. So, front loading. What is it? It's when you take your tasks that you have in the future and you do them ahead of time, which frees up space for you in the present and the future in order to relax, enjoy your life, and really feel good about yourself that you've accomplished something that your future self is going to thank you for. So how is that going to help us? It's going to help us relax. It's going to give us more time to do the things that we love. It's going to give us more time to do things that we might not otherwise be able to or might not think to do. It's going to allow us to sit down and take a moment and just relax and meditate, you know, to reflect on our day, to go through the buried thoughts and emotions and events in our minds, sort of put the pieces together, you know, because when we do meditate, the things that are in our minds connect to each other. And my sort of definition of wisdom is, you know, you can know about trees, you can know about rocks, you can know about rivers, but if you know how everything connects to each other, and how all those things connect to people, and how people connect to nature and the environment, and how we're all part of the encompassing whole, we're a system, systems theory, we're all part of the Gaia, the Earth, we're an accentuation of the natural life force that is abundant all around us you understand how everything's connected, if you take that time, which you can take because you've front-loaded, if you take that time to reflect, to meditate, to breathe, life is really going to start to turn around for the better. So, thank you so much for listening to my video here, guys. I really hope you enjoy it. I really hope you just take that one easy action you can today and start front-loading your life. And little friend Duck over here. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching my video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you wish. I love you all.